You cannot hold diplomatic talks at the barrel of Russian-made gun. It was Russia who invaded my country. Russian soldiers are killing Ukrainian soldiers. Russian military is killing innocent Ukrainian people. It wasn't us. It was Russia. It was Russia who violated the UN Charter. It was Russia who drew the new lines after the Second World War. And this is President Putin who waged the war against neighboring country. Can we have the dialogue? Probably yes. But under what kind of circumstances and conditions? The key precondition, Mr. Putin, get out of my country. Could you, could you, sir, imagine the trauma of the Ukrainian people? You know, one thing to lose, I don't know, bank deposits or business or some kind of shop or some kind of legal entity. Another thing, when every single day, coffins with the dead Ukrainian soldiers arriving to Kharkiv, Lviv, Chernihiv, all parts of my country. For what? For unexplainable desire of the Russian president to restore the spheres of influence? Or to restore the Soviet Union? Um, there was an idea to be somewhere in the midst. Let's not join NATO, let's not join the European Union. Let's be friends with both sides. So what's in the end? We don't have Crimea, we don't have Donetsk, we don't have Lugansk. These are the real facts. And it was the bargaining position of the former president when he abandoned an idea to join both EU and NATO. I fully understand, sir, that not all NATO member states are ready to accept Ukraine at this particular period of time. So we are quite pragmatic in terms of uh, modernization and approximation of Ukrainian military. There is a number of trust funds with NATO. So we need to improve Ukrainian military in order to meet the highest standards of NATO member states. And I will tell you the reason why, sir. We are protecting your borders. We are the only army in Europe that is fighting against the Russian army. We are paying very high price. 